Hello, this reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even Jupiter, whatever you want. Could be for your cross, cross watcher. It could be for your person that you're thinking about too, possibly. Um, not as easily translated, but if you want. I do get personal readings. My information is in the description box. This is going to be about you and your person for the month of April. Happy Easter, Libra. I welcome you here. We're calling in your higher spirit to give us a direct message. Express your love. Okay, Libra. Express your love. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you faith. It's safe for you to love. There's definitely old energies that you need to release to open your heart and receive the highest energy of all, right? Making, expressing your love to yourself, making that romantic gesture to yourself, I'm kind of getting. I also see your person kind of coming in and feeling, as you release them, they're feeling positive about you, which is, which is a thing, which is definitely a thing that happens, um, you know, let's see, let's get their energy. Awakening. Four of Cups for emotions. They've really disappointed you, but you've been kind of awakening them. You're a part of their awakening. They need to awaken. This is the past energy. Learning more about their truth. Oh yeah, so they're, they're having a tower. Uh, things are crumbling. They're kind of a repressed tower. You do spy on them from time to time as you might be checking them out in this reading, right? They do have things to say. They might not be, li they might not live near you, Libra. Things are crumbling down. They're changing. They're moving into their truth. They are having an awakening. Um, you definitely need to release the energy in which they are releasing. Okay, they've they've been depressed. Some of them they might be they drink too much. You know, have addictions. Um, at least depression. They are learning to move into their truth. Um, but whatever they were before that, that energy, release it and like release the expectation on them because they, they want to come in, they want to communicate with you. Um, but they haven't, it hasn't all fallen down yet, right? They're not quite at that bottom place where they're like, <sighs> they're feeling positive about this. Like they, they are staying positive as there's this collapse because I feel like they also know that there's this awakening and this, this future for them with you, but also for them because they're releasing, they're trying, they're, they're releasing burdens, they're releasing fear, they're releasing addiction, but there's also kind of like, it, it, it's not complete. I mean, it's like maybe there's twin flame energy with this person, Libra. You see them that way. They've been wanting to come back and balance things out with you for a while. Okay. And they're trying to learn balance. They are. Oh, and you, you want something new with them as well. There just has to be an energy, a thought form, a judgment, an addiction that needs to be cleared within yourself. 
a tie, an attachment with this person that needs to be cleared in order to do anything with it with the energy of this this relationship okay you need to work on yourself and you have been working on yourself working on your pentacles working on your life's work your mission work you're not looking towards them right now you're doing your own thing okay So right now, you're just letting it go. You're surrendering. You're doing your own thing. You're doing your own work. In the past, you did want to come together with them. You did want a union. You, you did want a new beginning. Um, whether you guys are together or apart. But now, you're being called to release it all. Release the expectations. Release the wanting a new beginning. This person's going through their own journey. They're trying to find their own truth. They see the truth in which you are. Um, you do keep an eye on them from time to time, but more or less. And they, they're learning to like let go of their attachments to you and in general that are not healthy, that cause depression, that cause stuck energy. Um... They don't want it to be the same. They don't want it to be the same as it was before. And so in time, they're going to allow their ways to collapse. Um, they had a false sense of power in the past and they're letting it go. They're learning to let it go. Um, and that's an energy that you need to release within yourself too or the judgment of them, or any of that kind of negativity, um, release, clear your energy, work on yourself, which I see you doing, and kind of surrendering this whole situation, you know, giving it up, you know, not fighting to win anything, right? Just allowing things to be what they will be. Okay. Two of Cups, yeah, there's a lot of soulmate energy going on here. They see you as a soulmate. If I love myself, I love you. If I love you, I love myself. They know they need to come into this self-love. They do know that and release a false sense of power and control. Diligence. Everyone has been made for some particular work. Eight of Pentacles. And the desire for that work has been put in every heart. Okay. New perspectives, teachable page of pentacles. Beyond the rightness or the wrongness of things, there is a field. I'll meet you there. They want to meet you beyond the world that you guys once had together. Or the way you viewed each other before, interacted before. They want to move beyond that. They are in a very teachable place. Almost like you could teach them things. Um, you're working on yourself. Um, you know, you're doing your own work. You expect them to do the same. Five of Wands. There is one way of breathing that is shameful and constricted. Then there's another way. A breath of love that takes you all the way to infinity. Dark night. Caught by our own thoughts. We worry about everything. Vital energy. Three of Wands. Close your eyes. Fall in love. Stay there. This is about you loving yourself. Moving beyond your limitations. You got your you got your guard up when it comes to them in the future. Um, there is an energy of them wanting to come in with, with 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 a kind of humility, and then there's an energy of you being guarded. I also think that they know that you worry when it comes to them. They also worry when it comes to you. Nine of Cups, happy. Let the beauty we love be what we do. If this is about moving in your life's mission, your life's work, and doing what you're called to do. 
Three of Cups, Bountiful. Laugh as much as you breathe, love as long as you live. Eight of Wands, again, travel begins, power and love break back. Travel brings power and love back into your life. So there is like this coming together energy for you guys in the future. Kind of a happiness. It's like, I feel like you're learning to, to be the love that you are and kind of express that through what you do. And that is your main focus right now. And as you're doing that, this person kind of comes in, you know? Stop acting so small. You are the universe in a static motion. King of Wands. Yeah, man. This is tower energy. There's a lot more. Like, there's, I don't know if there's a lot or a little bit more, but this person has a bit more structure on crappy foundation to fall. And that, that needs to be released within them. You need to release some of that baggage and that garbage within you, those limitations, those things that cause you to like feel constricted from inside, those things that cause you to feel like all stressed out or your muscles to get all tight, you know, it causes stress. Um, those things need to be released. You need to like just bathe and bask in the love that you are. And just to love as long as you live, to move into a place of laughter, to align with love and, and express yourselves, do your work. But you're surrendering to that old energy of control, that old energy of limitation. You're clearing it out. And you're expressing the love that you are with your work. And life will express that back at you, Libra. So, let's do... Reinvention, Mercury Retrograde, Communication, Friends. Some of you guys, you know, you're friends with this person. You guys can come together as friends. There is sort of this teachable energy where you guys could like kind of be friends, um, come together in that way. There's love there too, but there's also this ability for you guys to be very friendly with each other and communicate, kind of experiencing your relationship from a new thought construct. Like a a new expect like a, a no expectation. Just a friendliness. It's very teachable. This person's in in the future in a very humble place. They've been very humbled. They've seen their limitations and they, they've had, they have to let go of them because they crumbled before their eyes. And so they're in a humble, teachable place, non-threatening. So therefore there's a, there's like, there's not a lot of manipulation if there was once manipulation in your relationship, there, there's not. It's open communication to reinvent your relationship in a new way. That's very amicable, very teachable, very loving, okay? Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. It's really, there's a lot of surrendering going on. Sharing your true song, sharing your true frequency, diving deep. Libra, it's really about sharing what it is you're called to share and express in your work, in your life's work. Because you're really surrendering and allowing yourself, you're clearing old energy and you're allowing yourself to move into a new energy, a new expression of love, sharing it to the world. And also maybe with this person, this person seems very apt to learn from you. 
There's a lot of harmony and balance coming in for you guys. Humble energy on this side, um, not what you're used to. This person's a little like more positive. It's almost like this person's like lost a lot of the things that they've held on to, so they're humbled by it. And sort of like, there is no holding on to anything. Like, there's no more going down. Like they've kind of like reaching a bottom or reached a bottom. So wherever they're at, there's only going up from there. And so there is a positive energy coming from them. You are surrendering and surrendering, surrendering to the extremes of their issues and how it's triggered you and your own negative energy or energy that no longer serves you. Sur surrendering your limitations surrendering the tensions the stresses to bathe in love to be in love to express love is like the main thing express the love that you are libra and all else will just kind of come in come into harmony and balance be bathe in the love that you are express the love that you are and cupid's arrows will be coming towards you Surrender, do your work. Surrender the limitations, move into love. Yeah, that's just kind of, that's what I'm getting over and over again for you. Any extra advice from Spirit for, okay, Five of Pentacles. Let go of the things in which you feel you've lost death. There's a death, there's an ending to the grief. There's a transformation in the grief, in the loss. There's a balancing coming in due to the ability to grieve, to accept. Ego death going on. This is a whole hitting bottom, surrendering to loss, to grief, to limitation, to separation balancing coming in very quickly for you it's like you've you're clearing the energy this person i feel like specifically is hit is hitting bottom and you're clearing out it's cleaning out those things before you the bottom hit and now you can build quickly in a balanced harmonious way with this person or in your life yeah, this person's coming in. This is this is a good couple here. You know, from above the veil, coming in, knowing. Knowing your strength. Knowing your power. Knowing who you are. Knowing your truth. Cool. All right. So, Libra, this is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you did. Or even if you didn't and you just want to support me. Um... And just, yeah, have a good Easter and a lovely uh, rest of your month. Take care, Libra. Sending you love.